Hi, in today's lecture, Unit 2, Lecture 2, Example, I will continue in Autodesk 3D Studio Max Elementary course. This unit or this specific lecture is uh, the continuity of the previous lecture that we had. And uh, I'm going to make this uh, simple architectural composition that we studied the basics requirement in order to model that. Uh, it's basically the whole uh, uh, primitives modeling uh, snapping. And in order to do this geometry, I will actually need to just explain one extra command, which is a line, and then we're going to jump and we model uh, this geometry. It might look a bit, little bit scary in the beginning, but uh, I think it's going to be easier when I explain it for you. Anyway, so if I jump now into 3D Max, uh, let me just show you what the align is. And uh, let's have two boxes, one small and one big. And the align tool is a powerful tool actually you can use in order to uh, align or to organize geometry based uh, or according to another one. So if I have this object and then I hit a line, which is this one, and then I pick the next geometry, this dialog box is going to show up and you're going to notice that this object immediately jump and it's, you see this XYZ, so it's now XYZ as a location. See, it's a pivot to pivot, so he's going to take the pivot of that, which is the centroid of that, and he allocated base on the XYZ to the pivot of the target one. So this is a good way, if you hit apply now, see it's a good way to make those objects sitting pivot on pivot exactly, as you can see in XYZ. Uh, I can just select this guy and then hit uh, again uh, align. I can just uh, remove uh, uh, I can just remove the Z for example and ask this to be minimum to minimum so see the minimum of that object to the minimum of that uh, maximum to minimum or minimum to maximum see see the possibilities actually that you can have or just return that center to center and then hit apply again. Uh, again, let's go with this guy and align. Let's remove everything except the Z. I can go minimum the Z with the maximum. See, it's a, it's really powerful way to make things above each other like this. So sitting this above each other, you, you can then later on hit apply and then go to just X, for example, and make the minimum with the minimum of that object. And then after we align to X, let's let's make it uh, both of them align to the left side, and so on. Anyway, so uh, that's enough just to give you an idea of uh, how that's uh, how that uh, command works. Uh, again, you can go to customize unit setup as the beginning of a startup on object. Uh, sorry, a file, and then you go metric, and then here you go meters also metric meter and metric meter. That's uh, really a good important thing to keep that habit with you. Uh, back to the PowerPoint. So I have now a complicated geometry and the quick look to analyze it. It's this, you know, same as this composition, same as this composition. So start up with this one first as the dimension all here only. While this guy here giving you a mirror of that geometry and it just gives you the heights. So this is a 4x4 four four with a height of a four so that's a cube so let's do this which is here three by one which is four on four and the height is actually four so again a box and i'm gonna just create it quickly here and in the modify i'm gonna just make it uh four here and four here and four and that guy is far away from the zero zero so i can just uh, right click on that and just zero and then tab zero and then hit enter so I'm actually creating this now uh, in the XY origin. So that's our first geometry. I'm going to zoom extend here. You can zoom extend to the old viewports if you like. Now, again, another one. It's two meter away from that. And it's four by six, which is four by two six. So it's a good idea to select this guy and hit control V to make a, a copy of it in place and just make sure it's copy not an instance 
and I'll push that that way and it's basically it's basically like from the center of that to the center of that so I think it's four it's not a big deal if you miss as long as you move things based on a clear number four five anyway and now it's four by six so not that one so I don't know which is X and which is Y I don't bother by that by the way so I try this one if it's not what I want I'll just return it as it was and make the other one six and as you can see now they are adjacent so that's wrong so it should be two meter away good so minus two here in the offset and you see this distance from here to here I don't know how much so good to good it's really good to keep the habit of pushing that one meter at a time so minus one and look it's uh, happily correct so now I create the, the dimension and the location I need the height and the height of this guy is four so actually I made a mistake so that's four which is the big one while this this one the small one is a three so it's okay we still own that so that's okay this one is wrong so just come here and make it three okay to notice that good so so far so good now we need another one here also with a height of a four but it's longer so it's technically four to four that means ten good so uh, i can use this one or i can use this one i don't know i'll use this one i'll push it down i don't know minus six maybe or eight something like that i don't care and make sure that uh, this is four again and the width is 10. now let's push that up how much you don't really care with this method just go to for example happy coincidence uh, how much from here to here same let's say minus two another minus one three and it's worked perfectly and now we are creating this L shape with a small rectangle here or a small cube in here let's finish this job uh, we got this one a small one which is basically two by something less than six which is five and the height is 2.5 so I'm just gonna get uh, this guy here I'm gonna get a copy of that in place and the height sorry the height is uh, not this one this is actually we said five and this is two so let's push that small box to the left how much again let's go minus two first and then minus one and then we have to push it that way let's say minus one and minus 0.5 always minus 1 or minus 0.5 and the height is 2.5 to be lower than this box as uh, you can see probably we need to show the edges so uh, f4 just to show the edges here good now I can just select this guy and then uh, of this guy uh, let's copy it in place uh, probably we need to rotate that 90 degree and return it to the move it's shorter so instead of five I think it's a three and we need to push that in X uh, let's go two, and then go 0.5 and then in Y minus one and then minus 0.5 you can go that and do that by an accurate mathematical calculation of the location of the center or just go pushing things one positive or one minus or half positive and half minus and it's basically easier for you just pick up whatever you like both correct actually now that's what I have and so far again so good now I've modeled those I need this and this and they are basically eight so that's ten let's say that's one and that's one so that's eight well this height uh, of that dimension is two so again uh, the height of that sorry is three so two eight y three let's do that so again I'm gonna pick that paste it in place I'm gonna push that minus four or whatever again uh, that's two and that's eight and push that back one again and I'm gonna push that minus two 
to get that exactly at the location we want. I'm going to just control and paste, control V, and then I'm going to rotate that 90 degree, and then move it down. It's uh, 4 plus the half of it, 5, so minus 5. Uh, not really, another one. So minus another one, so technically 6. And then we're going to push that that way. Let's go, I don't know, 5. And then uh, 1. And the height, I think it's not accurate. Let's uh, double check that at PowerPoint. It's 3. How much here? 4. Let's make it 3. And let's make this one 3. As you see, now we created the boxes required in here. Now uh, we need to make here a small dome, so it's not been specified actually, but obviously it's less than as a diameter 4, so let's say 3 as a diameter, uh, let's do that, so that's my sphere, again I can use the XYZ, but let's, uh, let's use the auto grid method to try to uh, apply it, so let's go geosphere, hit uh, auto grid, and AutoGrid will guarantee that the center will be above that face. Basically, that's what we want. That's half of the job. I'll make it hemisphere, and then I'll create it here, randomly disregard where exactly it is. The most important thing for me is on that face. So now, again, let's exaggerate the location here. So again, I'm selecting it and hitting a line, selecting the box like that which is not working anyway. So again, select it again, and get rid of the Z. Make sure that the X, Y pivot to pivot, and now it's exactly centered, hit OK. And now change the radius, let's make it, uh, I don't know, 1.5. See? Now, I can just uh, get rid of this coloring issue, so you can just select uh, anything here, color, and just uh, cancel assign random colors uh, or what I like actually just select everything sorry is uh, what I like here is to just go click here sorry to play so I get rid of this uh, basic coloring that we have and change everything into a clay system anyway I'm gonna select this all of it and then make a group and then group I will name it whatever just let 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 the, leave the default name so now I made a whole group of that, that's what I want, I would apply mirror for that, and see it's flip it, I don't want the original to be flipped, so hit copy, and also push that way in any specific amount, let's say say minus 20, and hit ok, now how much is the distance between them, between their edges, the distance is 9, so let's try have a snapping tool here let's say a 2d snapping if i push that to that see it's uh, not really working so i'm gonna hit undo let me try the 3d option and i'm dragging from uh, this point to this point and it worked as you can see if it isn't working and try to ju just use the 2.5 snap it's gonna, it gonna give you better accuracy of that. Anyway, they are now exactly correct. So now push it minus 9. Let's repeat the same job here. So I'm gonna select this guy. I'm gonna go zoom out a little bit and then uh, mirror. This time on Y and I'm gonna go minus 20. Again. good to keep this so you know if it's not jumping here because it might jump here so if I hit 2.5 I think it's just uh, safer for me in, in 2.5 it's it's deal with the whole thing as it's a uh, it's a projection of that so guarantee there is no problem by understanding the minimum or the maximum of the snapping anyway so minus 9 here again now we created those three corners of the big cube as you can see now if you return to the PowerPoint now we have a big box which is this one and obviously here it's 1.5 the height 
so it's 16 that what you have to see after that box and then inside the box it's have two four and two so it's 16 it's exactly 24 starting from this point to this point which is cool so 24 by 24 and the height 1.5 let's do that again it's a box wherever you want let's assume that way and the height whatever you want for now you go to the modify it's at 24 by 24 by 1.5 see turning off this or actually just keep it I just need to use it here to push that in here and see it work perfectly and it's located correctly let me go and do control Z here what if I use a 3d here let's see see here see how it just snapped upward it isn't sitting on the ground it's just flying that's that's a good use here for the 2.5 see see how it's understand it's sitting to the ground here it's just neglecting the 3d aspect and have its own projection on the ground anyway uh, that's done so now we need to model this so it's again 8 by 8, 1 meter away from the corner. And let's assume sitting on the top of that. So again, 8 by 8, beautiful. And the height 2.5. So again, cube, box, anywhere you want. Don't worry about the dimension. Just again here, 8, 8, and then 2.5. Now, let's just uh, put that here and it's actually sitting exactly at that corner i'll just push that 1.5 vertically and see what's happened it just moved that way why because you have to be aware when you change the x and y while you're picking this now the z is is actually going vertical to that one which is y and that's why it didn't push that way it's really recommended for you to understand this correctly if you want to work 100% as an XYZ as a word coordinate you have to keep activating this perspective or the top of you don't use the that on the front or the left elevation so don't work with that on elevation just work on top of your perspective see I'm activating this and then I'm writing here 1.5 and you're gonna get the correct result because if you work on this the Z will be going away or toward you see that's the that's the z and that's the y when you click that see it's going to be changed it's going to actually it's actually changed see that the y that the x and the z will be uh, perpendicular to that plane that's why it pushes it that way when you when you when i was activating this one anywho now it's on the corner let's push that uh one in x one in y because as you see it's not sitting exactly here here and from the elevation I can notice that this box that is above it this one and which is and then another copy of that and another copy of that so I need to make three copy two copies actually from that box and the distance between them between the top and the bottom between this point and this point which is the height of that box is 1.5 so good so I can just make control V and then hit uh, instance in this case and I'm just gonna push the Z4 and I push that 4 because I'm jumping from this point to this point so this is from here to here 2.5 and that 1.5 that's, that's why I'm pushing 4 then I control V again and I'm in instance again and I'm gonna push that another 4 and Z beautiful now I'm gonna select this guy and now that's an issue because if I want to make a copy of that let's make a copy of that control V oops control V I will take a normal copy and then push it vertically uh, 1.5 as such and I will make it 6 by 6 and the height is 1.5 as such so I think I need to push it another here I need to push it another uh, I think one yep 
So that's what I have. See here. Control V and in instance, and I'm gonna push it another four to make it sit exactly in here as you can see. Beautiful. Now we need to go here and again. I'm gonna go geosphere and then auto grid is on, so lovely. Anyway, here and it's uh, hemisphere, so that's what I want. Now I'm guaranteeing that it's sitting on the Z, so the problem is with the X and Y only. Again, align it to this one, and again, make sure that's off. Pivot, pivot, X and Y, and hit OK. Done. Now I have my geometry. Really cool and nice. <clears throat> which is almost done. We have one thing left, which is the, the rectangle here. The big one. And uh, it's two, two meter high. And then overall is a kind of unknown so roughly if it's this 2 that's 8 that's 10 that's 12 and 12 it doesn't say how much from here so okay 12 by 12 here 24 24 and 9 it's uh, around 33 so we can safely assume that this from here to here 40 it isn't given us to us by this uh, paper so it's okay to assume it while the width is being given which is 4 so let's make a let's make a box out of that and remember that all this is now has been uh, grouped so I don't want to disturb that I'm just going to turn off this for now making a box randomly and let's modify that make this 4 while this one 40 and the height is 2 double check yeah the height is 2 and it's look like it's in the center of that which is good so let's uh, try to figure out how to do that so that's uh, don't try to do that <laughs> it's not really right anyway uh, let's put it let's move let's take this as 2.5 and let's me put it here exactly and now I will push it uh, vertically as long as this is 2 so let's push that vertically another one and now we guarantee that's in the middle and uh, I will push that way let's say uh, an X let's say 4 and jobs done it's look like uh, it's look like here taller than that so maybe minus 0.5 and we get ourselves out of this headache so that's been done you can just uh, copy it in place and uh, just rotate it 90 degree and then return that to a move mode and then again snap it to this guy and just remove it that way minus uh, two or one I think two actually one and then push it vertically 4.5 and it's just job done that's the that's the exercise which I had it as a nice uh, test for my student who really a little bit freaked out of it in the beginning I think now if we come back and do it again we can find it easier for you that's uh, that's a, just a good way to express and to practice the use of a primitive transformer mirrors and a line snapping to in 2.5 and 3d snap and how to use the transform try type in uh, wish that been useful for you thank you very much and have a nice day bye bye